welcome to the part 9 of our tutorial and previously in part 8 uh, I just showed you how to create a cloud object using Marvelous Designer and in this video we are going to focus on animating that uh, cloud using Mar Marvelous Designer again so let's open that Marvelous Designer and delete everything including the avatar and delete all avatars and let's open the file that I'm going to provide and it will be included into your uh, download link here in file open and garment and let's browse for that uh, file that I'm uh, uh, inside cloud modeling uh, folder it will be under exercise file marvelous designer folder and cloud modeling folder and open this uh, file name cloud modeling okay and open and you may see here that uh, there were no avatars included into this file. It's because that every time you save this uh, file uh, There will be no avatar you will be included into your save. So every time you open this uh, file you have to uh, Re-import the avatar. So here in file uh, import FBX and I'm going to provide this uh, avatar file into your uh, downloading as well so open that it will be under Mar marvelous designer as well okay and press open and uh, in import uh, settings let's leave the animation and cache animation check and set the scale into centimeter and press ok All right, and now uh, let's bring up a wind uh, object here in display and show wind controller and select this uh, wind object and uh, let's uh, put it into the other side over here. And now uh, with this object selected, uh, here in its properties, uh, let's activate that uh, wind object by pressing this on and uh, I'm gonna go uh, increase the strength into a value of 3000 and let's click this uh, play motion and you're gonna start our, uh, moving our character into this uh, pose okay and let's help this code to move into this direction okay and if you find a nice deformation into your uh, object, you may pause the, uh, what you call this, uh, the simulation space tab, right? And let's say that I am already satisfied with this uh, kind of deformation. Uh, you have to just pause the simulation and select this cloud pattern. Okay. And freeze it so that we can focus on the other parts. Okay, and now press the uh, space tab on your uh, button to continue simulation, to continue the simulation or press this uh, icon. Okay, and uh, let's help this as well. Okay, and pause the uh, simulation and I want to give it a more, uh, uh, more dimension using this uh, edit pattern so I'm gonna dra uh, drag these control points hold your shift key on your keyboard and pull these control points downward okay and let's uh, try simulating once more space tab and of course you have to live drag this one okay and okay and space tab space tab and select this uh, wind object so I'm I'm going to try a much stronger wind by up, uh, around 3500 okay and okay so you may also want to uh, change the wind direction and space tab right and now uh, 
so let's freeze this as well right click and freeze and continue the simulation space tab okay and space tab and change the wind direction okay and continue simulation space tab okay and space tab and now uh, if you are done uh, animating the cloud select everything and unfreeze okay unfreeze and before uh, importing this uh, cloud objects inside 3ds 3ds max uh, we have to fix uh, one more thing so let's activate the wireframe mode and let's uh, take a look up close into this uh, object and you may see that there are Triang triangular shape over the surface of our uh, code and I want to change that uh, shape into a quads or a square shape so with this all code patterns selected here in its properties under miscellaneous uh, let's set the mesh type into a quad and it's gonna change the shape into quads of course and uh, over here in uh, simulation pro uh, properties under particle distance let's change the it into a value of 10 and it's gonna uh, turn the shape into a smaller size and it will give our uh, cloud object a much smoother appearance okay so but be careful on uh, giving it a smaller value in here as it may uh, take your process uh, too long and it might gonna crush your uh, software okay so a value of 10 is uh, enough for this uh, one okay and let's activate the shaded mode again and now uh, let's uh, change the wind direction uh, in here okay and simulate this uh, just a quick uh, simulation uh, one last time just to uh, just to relax the clothes before importing this inside uh, 3ds max okay space tab okay and you have to quickly uh, pause the simulation once it is relaxed space tab okay and now uh, i have to undo this one undo and select this one and uh, lower down the strength to 2000 okay and space tab space tab okay and do this one and 1000 space tab space tab okay so i think uh that's good enough and select everything in here and file import uh export and export selected and i already i already have a uh, import uh imported uh saved uh object in here and i'm gonna replace it double click this one that one and yes and uh the export uh, settings will just appear in your uh screen and let's leave the select all patterns check and change the tick into tin and uh, make sure that the unified uv coordinate is checked and let's leave the scale into millimeter and press ok and now let's open the 3ds max and i'm gonna provide a exercise file named part 9 importing clothes into 3ds max and let's grab this animation track bar into a frame 40 and now we can now import the uh, object from marvelous designer here max and import and find where we that where we just saved that uh, file okay so here it is uh code finish from mv demo and open and import all right and now okay and uh press f4 on your keyboard so that we you, uh, you can see the wireframe on it and in here uh, let's uh, go into a modify tab and uh let's uh check if the uv layout of this object is ready for texturing so up 
apply a unwrap UV double W modifier or you may browse it over over here under modifier list okay and uh, with this uh, unwrap UV the volume modifier uh, layer selected let's open the the uh, editor and you should see here a uh, UV layout uh, that is somehow already organized and but I just want to I still want to reorga reorganize this one so select everything and press this pack normalize and it will uh, occupy the entire space of this uh, canvas and double click this one to expand the window you may uh, also uh, uh, re-edit or uh, rearrange these uh, patterns manually by uh, clicking uh, by entering into a polygon mode and click over here to select the uh, faces uh, and to in order for you to uh, select the whole uh, object you have to check this uh, select by element so that every time you select a faces it will gonna select the whole uh, pattern and move everything and rearrange and scale move okay so just do that if you are not satisfied with this uh, UV layout so let's assume that I already uh, uh, finish this uh, UV layouting okay let's gonna close that window and I don't want to lose those edit so uh, we have to uh, right click in here and collapse to and that makes us uh, save and uh, and it will permanent, per permanently uh, take effect on our object okay right and now uh, let's uh, take a look up close into this uh, part and uh, as you can see now that this uh, cloud uh, object doesn't have any thickness on it so let's apply a shell modifier and set the amount to 2 millimeter okay and let's add an additional segments in at the edge of this cloud so let's set a segment of 2 okay and we can now add add turbo smooth modifier modifier in it and it gonna gives a much smoother um, form okay select and press f4 and check if everything uh, goes well right and now uh, of course uh, I am aware that uh, uh, there were still happening around in here just like this one and you have to fix those holes by welding the vertices at these uh, areas okay so let's uh, select this uh, cloud once more press F for on our keyboard and of course we have to remove this uh, inter penetration happening in here and uh, let's apply a edit poly modifier under uh, over this edit poly layer okay and right click that rename and edit poly modifier uh, ep underscore uh, welds vertices and press enter now uh, with this object uh, selected let's uh, turn on the border mode so that we can select the border on it okay so as you can see here that uh, those borders are actually the edges or the seams where we connected all of this uh, code pattern okay and with this uh, edges selected let's hold the control key on our keyboard while uh, clicking this vertex uh, button and it gonna instantly uh, convert our uh, selection into a vertex selection okay so with this vertex selected right click in here and click weld and it gonna weld all of these uh, selected vertices into a one okay so let's uh, test it out by grabbing uh, one of these uh, vertices for example this one and move it and 
con it's confirmed that uh, these uh, vertices are now uh, welded okay and of course I have to remove this interpenetration so I have to manually move those uh, edges inward and vertices okay and now let's turn off the editing and head back to turbo smooth layer okay and deselect and press f4 and that fixes everything okay so uh, i think we are done uh, with this uh, video and in part uh, 10 uh, we will going to focus on uh, creating a texture for this uh, code and start giving a nice uh, material shader into it so see you in the next video